Hi there, I'm Simone Wolf with your JIS News of the Week. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller has responded to concerns about government's position on the future of electricity generation and transmission in Jamaica, asserting that there was no real conflict or dispute within the government. Mrs. Simpson-Miller released a statement stressing that charting a development path for the sector was a complex exercise that would involve soliciting expert advice and dialoguing with the current holders of the electricity license. In the meantime, the Prime Minister said government was committed to competition within the energy sector and that all options for investment in alternative sources of energy would be examined. Standard & Poor's Rating Services has raised Jamaica's short-term credit ratings from C to B. The ratings agency has also affirmed the country's long-term foreign and local currency issuer ratings at B-. A statement from the Finance Ministry said the ratings were supported by Jamaica's stable democratic government and its successes in financing a large share of its borrowing needs in the domestic capital markets. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller says Jamaica's South Coast is being positioned for developments that will help drive Jamaica's economic growth. The Prime Minister, who was speaking at the recent contract signing for the $497 million South Coast Roadworks project, said it was time to focus on what she called the country's sleeping giant. This major road rehabilitation project, it will significantly improve the movement of goods and people as well as increased road safety and reduced travel time. It will provide for maximizing tourism and other development opportunities on the South Coast. Culture Minister Lisa Hanna says projects in education, heritage, infrastructure, culture, academic symposia, literature and the arts will be implemented throughout the rest of the year as government continues its Jamaica 50 program. The minister says the focus of the mission now is on the legacy component of the program and that is to be spearheaded by the legacy committee chaired by Billy Heaven. Based on the framework that has been created, the objective is now to fine tune this model and use the time available to us over the next year to transform that into a more robust action plan aimed at positioning the cultural and entertainment industry as a central pillar for economic growth going forward. The Education Minister will be carrying out an assessment to determine what led to low pass rates in the recent Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate CSEC exams. At a back-to-school press conference, Education Minister Reverend Ronald Thwaites revealed that only 46% of persons who sat English A were successful, down from 63.9% last year. For mathematics, there was a pass rate of 31.7%, down from 33.2% last year. Minister Thwaites said these pass rates were unacceptable, adding that English and mathematics were subjects needed for one to fully function in society. Government has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with representatives from the Latin America Energy Organization, OLAID, to establish a sub-regional office in Jamaica. The office is the second of its kind in the region and will serve the energy needs of nine Caribbean countries, including Jamaica. Energy Minister Philip Paulwell says the MOU is a clear demonstration that the government is committed to finding the right energy solutions for its citizens. The opening of this sub-regional office presents the Caribbean with additional technical expertise that will be integral to our development and will help to meet our development goals, particularly within the areas of energy security and efficiency. And finally, government has officially launched the teachings of Garveyism in the new civics program for Jamaican schools. Speaking at another function, Culture Minister Lisa Hanna hailed the move, saying it was a progressive step long overdue. Having experienced the overwhelming impact of colonial education on the psyche of the masses, he was determined to counter his negative and this negative by promoting what he called particular education through which people could be educated to all elements of their race and culture in order for them to assume their role and responsibility in the proper advancement of their society and their race. 
The minister was speaking at a wreath-laying ceremony at National Heroes Park to commemorate the 125th anniversary of the birth of Marcus Garvey. Political, academic and civic leaders were joined at the ceremony by Dr. Julius Garvey, the son of Jamaica's first national hero. And those were some of the stories making news this week. I'm Simone Wolfe.